Hello my loves, it's been quite some time since I posted a video, I am very sorry. I've just been extremely busy and then I've just been so tired that like when I went to record I just did not have the energy, but here we are, like four days later. Um, but anyway, it's Midnight Poppyland. Uh, we are doing episode 46. I made myself some mint tea. Um, are you guys drinking anything? I just had some uh, cinnamon toast. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, let's just go right into it. Yeah, I found yeah, a little run. <coughs> Don't worry, boss. Knock, knock. If he's not broken yet. Swish. Knock, knock. He'll soon be. Oh. Knock. Oh, was he dreaming? Or was he thinking? 4 p.m. I slept all day, but I still feel like stuffing. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. He's sick. It's, it's been a long time. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> Digital Dorvir. Who the heck? Mm. I can't tell if he's surprised or not. I love her shirt. She has the cutest stuff. She really does. Oh, he was probably feeling for something that Quincy hid. <laughs> Darn it. But no. What are you doing here? Sniff. I thought it was the post lady. But no. Why did I agree to come and see him? Are we still doing the rude a hole thing? But um, because I'm sorry if I'm not welcome here. <clears throat> but I'm not gonna budge. Not until you talk to me properly. Wah! <laughs> Slam. Never said you weren't welcome. Make yourself at home. That, that's fine. It's very dark in his apartment. I should inform you that I'm formally Quincy's editor now. And we'll be working on a new project starting tomorrow. Oh, she's blushing. It's kind of hard to see, but she is. I can tell. <laughs> hmm. Quincy. <laughs> what did you do with my stuff? This morning. He's gonna kill you when he wakes up, Quincy. You better put everything back in the store when you're done polishing. Of course, that's what I'm here for, to make sure everything's safely hidden. I think there's one hitting by the door. Go grab it for me, will you? Nope, I'm just here to keep watch. <laughs> He's sleeping right there. So he really does play the guitar. Just a word of caution, Pops. If you find Tora sleeping in some weird position, don't pay any attention to it. This afternoon. <clears throat> He's just an oddball and he feels safer. I mean, more comfortable sleeping on lower ground. And away from, um, 
open windows? Is that what Quincy meant when he said that? Rumble. Patter, patter, patter. Oh, it's raining. I love when it rains. Like, when it's, like, light outside and, like, you can see. I don't have any, like... How do I phrase this? Like, you know, like, when you go to, like, work out and, like, you have open windows and, like, it's raining and you, like, work out when it's raining or snowing. I just love that. Even though I can't do that because I don't have that. Anyway. (laughs) But why on the ground and away from open windows? Thunder. It's starting to rain. Maybe. Patter, patter, patter. That's what life is like for people in the mafia. Is that your bed? That looked like a bed to you. It's in the bedroom. (laughs) Why ask? You want to use it now? Oh. I was just curious. I don't think she's seen him like in like a tank like all his tattoos like showing and i think she only saw like the near his wrist <clears throat> but um oh my god pops she is staring repeat after me oh poppy <laughs> you know tora he's not a piece of meat grab you shouldn't walk around so scantily clad when you've got a flu. <clears throat> He's not a piece of meat. <laughs> scantily clad? I'm wearing a tank top and joggers. Yeah, but you gotta keep yourself nice and warm. Or are you feeling aroused by m- both professional romance and Benavita? Where's your kitchen? First room on the left. <laughs> Stop. Tap, tap, tap. Gasp! That's the bedroom, you jerk. Oh, he's laughing. What you making? Congi and fish. Are you hungry? Not really. Too bad. You need to eat something to build up your strength. Uh, she told him. She's gonna make him eat it. He passed out at Good Runs last night. Do you remember any of that? Yeah, and? And, I mean... And nothing, I was just asking. Quincy said you're too lazy to get your own food. So he got me to come over here to prepare some for you. And to check on how you're doing. It's my first task as his editor. Oh my god, the food looks so good in here. I don't even like fish. But it looks so good. How? Lily, how? <laughs> I hope this will do for you. If, uh, that's not what this is. Okay, let me know if you'd like anything else. Awkward. Oi. Pat, pat. Is he asking me to take a seat? I'm not sure why I'm behaving like this, but I can feel anger from last night resurfacing. And it's still raining. I think this is why I've been in a funk all day. I've been stuffing it down since last night. But it's still inside me. Because it had to. It had nowhere to go. Want some? No, I'm good. It's nice. I like it. Bobby. (laughs) 
I'm sorry for yelling at you. And for making you feel like you weren't wanted. Huh? Darn it, I need to stop my tears before they burst out from my eyes. Oh no. Sorry for ordering you around. And sorry you had to hear that crap from Quincy. But I swear to God, that little stuffing was talking 